Hello friends, earlier I had done a video regarding how to invest in mutual fund through upstock. Now when their application updated and their things are changed. So this video I am sharing from where we can take that mutual fund options in upstock new app. Everything is remaining investment process remains the same. Here what you have to do is you can see an option here. In the body you can see a discovery. You have to check for it. If you want to open an account with Upstrok, the link will be available in the description of this video. You can directly go to the description and just enter your mobile number and you can get the account opening within 15 to half an hour of time and within a day you can start trading. Okay, now once this portal is open, you can see here, first is all the new IPO things will be there. Second, you can see an option mutual funds. You have to click on this one. <laughs> Once you click uh, or you can explore funds option is available here. Just click on it. It will redirect to the abstract portal. You can see here on the top HTTP login abstract dot login mutual fund that to that window it will redirect. Here you can see all the available mutual funds. If you want to see as a collection like uh, tax time fund, new fund offering, Loris fund that as a group if you want to see means if someone want to get idea about the only the tax saving funds you can click on the font you can see all the tax saving funds available with the upstock here you can see basically two ways we can invest one is as an SIP mode and other one is as a single full amount investment and what all things you have to basically need to check is we will check with the first one itself if you want to filter you have an option of filter in the bottom here you can see I will give it back oh sorry again it gone back collection taxing fund and okay here you can see a filter option available here and if you want to sort it on sort also you can do I just click on it and show you if you want to see an equity fund you can select it here if you want to see a hybrid fund that you can sell here like that easily you can do a filter and identify a good stock uh, low risk minimum investment all the factors we can do a filter like that if you want to sort you can press on sort a to z you can do or z to a or options or return percentage you can select okay uh, low risk to high risk return like that whatever way if you want to sort you can sort it out then you have to go back. I will show by selecting one stroke and I will show you. Okay, first first one itself I am selecting. Here you can see it's annual growth. Then if you want to start as an SAP, you have to select this option start SAP. Or if you want lump sum amount, if you want to invest, you can go to one time option. Uh, once you, okay, it was. Okay, once you, if you press on this one time, it will take to you next page here you can enter the amount currently my fund balance is very low so I need to add if I am entering a digit here 5000 rupees next thing option and whatever I available is add fund so directly it will map to our bank account or you can do as an a UPI you can add it or you can go with the net banking but uh, as you can see here rupees 7 per transaction it will be charging so better to go with either UPI or uh, directly add fund from the bank or if you want to uh, uh, go with an SIP mode of payment select this fund uh, select the start SIP monthly record you can select it then when it need to happen first of every month or some particular date if you want to set that you can set it now I am sell. oh sorry it is not selected I select first of the month or if you want to select second of the month that like that you can select it bid login bid you can select it as it's a tax saving fund minimum will be three year then you have to set press on the amount here you can see SAP amount how much it is needed if you want to add a fund you can directly go with add fund as I explained in the previous lump sum amount or if you want to do any corrections or modification 
you have to select the frequency option back so you can edit here you if i press font you can see 500 add font again it will take this one then it will ask for a confirmation page then you have to submit then every month amount will deduct from this bank account okay this is the procedure remains same if you don't see in the previous video in that video i clearly explain up to the last stage how to add the fund how to start an sip better to check that video remaining things will be remain same as in that video okay friends thanks for watching my video if you have any questions please comment on the comment line bye see you